Hey Tubies, it's Psyche Bob. Well, welcome to 2020. This is our first video of the new year. So come on along and let's have an adventure. We're outside the dumpsters here. And Psyche Bob has to admit he's a bit of a dumpster diver. Yes, I am. Yesterday I came here and I got an amazing table, which I'm cleaning and restoring. It was in really great condition, just needs a little work. But I'll be showing that to you in the coming weeks as I get that done. But nothing like hanging out and, you know, just having fun. So we'll take a glance in the dumpsters today, see if we see any treasures. Usually what they do is they put this stuff right out in the front here. But I don't see any today, so I guess there's no treasures today. But you know what? I'm always on the watch. There is our Sun Lord. He's hiding behind the clouds up there. But isn't he beautiful? Tubies, here I am out on the street. I'm having a great time. It is really warm today. And, you know, I can get a better shot here of our Sun Lord up in the sky. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. Since, uh, since December 21st, since Yule, the winter solstice, I have noticed our days are actually becoming a little longer and our sun is getting just a little brighter. Now today he's hiding, but I can feel the shift. You know, when you get out and walk, you discover the energy patterns. Like, I can physically feel a difference in the earth and in the atmosphere and in the light since you're So, you know, the ancients really knew what they were talking about. They really did. So the Sun Lord is reborn, and I'm getting a little more pep in my step. So come on along. Hail to the Sun Lord. Hail. Oh, he's so beautiful. I love these clouds. I hope he's just showing up on camera. In person, it's absolutely spectacular. Luminous rays coming down. Just beautiful. You know I love the Sun Lord. I hope you guys had a wonderful and a happy and a blessed and safe new year. You know, I so enjoy putting out my annual predictions. So many of you came out to support that. We had a live broadcast, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, if you haven't seen that, you need to check that out. It's in the queue right before this video. And I tell everybody what's coming in 2020. I tell you, we're going to have a really big year. And so many of you ask such wonderful questions. And um, I really... You know, just so glad we got to have that time together. So if you missed it, maybe you've been away traveling or something, definitely see the video right before this one. 2020, it's called 2020 Psychic Predictions with Bob Hickman. So you got to see that, definitely. Check it out. Look, Tubies, our Sun Lord wants to play the game of hide and seek with us. He's hiding behind that building. But if we walk along, I think he's going to peek out for us. Sun Lord, here Sun Lord, we call you. Come and show us your beauty. <gasps> there he is. Oh, he's emerging from behind the building. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Hail to our Sun Lord, bright and shining. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> well, here we are. We're at the footbridge. Give a shout out to my buddy Gav Hines in England. Gav said this is his favorite place that I walk. So Gav, here I am at the footbridge just for you. <laughs> I tell you, our water's looking beautiful. We've got a really great day. Maybe this is a sign of that this winter will be mild. Maybe it won't be so extreme. You know, our river is flowing here. Just beautiful, isn't it? It's really something. And you know, we have to, at this new year, give our New Year's greetings to all of our, our friends, our spiritual friends. So we have to stop and say hello to the mystic rock. Hello, dear friend, blessed rock. Thank you for your protection, your blessings, and your guidance. Thank you for letting me use you as an altar this year, this past year. And I send to you, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, blessed stone. To see the trees, the rocks, Mother Earth, it's all alive. The spirit of life infuses everything around us. Just most of the time we don't realize it, you know.
But it's true. Life is abundant. Look, Tubi, here's our friend, the oak with the eyes. Hello, Mr. Oak Tree. Greetings to you. I hope that you have a blessed and happy new year. I don't know if you guys can see his eye. There's a little bit of glare here. Let's walk over this way. Maybe you can see. Can you see his eye watching us there in the middle of the screen? There he is. He sees us. Hello, Mr. Oak. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. We hope that you have many, many blessings this year. And that your life is full of joy and happiness and success. So mote it be. Isn't he beautiful? Ooh, my glasses fell off. Well, you know, we have to share love with all of life. And so, let us give a hug. May I give you a hug, Mr. Oak? Sega Bob is a tree hugger. So we're going to step up here and we're going to give a hug to the oak tree. Hello, Mr. Oak Tree. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? Just beautiful. Majestic and mighty are you. Look at his deep roots going into the earth. Majestic and beautiful. Thank you. Blessings to you. Happy New Year. Oh, and our Sun Lord has decided to emerge in full glory. Look at his bright and shining light. Hail to the Sun Lord. Hail. I tell you guys. You know, since we're paying visits to all our friends in nature, we cannot ignore the great-grandmother oak tree up here. Do you know that this tree is over 300 years old? We're going to walk up and pay our respects to our venerable and ancient grandmother tree. Isn't she beautiful? Our park service has honored this tree by protecting it with a fence there she is, tall and majestic. The great-grandmother tree is a blessing to all of us in this community. If you think of the history, this was here before the founding of our country. It's over 300 years old, and it's an amazing tree. Hail, great-grandmother tree. Grant us your wisdom in this new year. Happy New Year, grandmother. See, paying respects to the great-grandmother tree is part of our New Year celebration. When you recognize that life is sacred, all of life is connected, then you have reverence, you'll have peace, and you'll have joy. And here we are at the river's edge. The river is a sign of the great goddess. Do you know in India they call the, the river goddess Mother Ganga, and she's considered a great and powerful goddess. And in Egypt, Isis was goddess of the Nile River. So wherever we see rivers, the goddess is there. Hail to the goddess. Let's go down to the water and make a wish. And here we are at the water's edge. Isn't this beautiful? Great Mother River, Isis, Gangama, goddess of the sea and the streams and the lakes. I ask your power at this new year. May your flowing power bring us light and life and healing. I ask for all of my YouTubers, the power of your flowing energy to enter their lives, to help them to move forward with joy, healing, blessing, peace, and prosperity. Thank you, Mother Goddess, for hearing our prayer. So mote it be. So mote it be. Now I have to figure out how to get back up this cliff. I climbed down here. <laughs> That's an adventure. <laughs> oh, look, guys, what I just discovered. Look at these seed pods here. This tree that I'm standing next to is loaded 
with seed pods. Aren't these beautiful? Look at these beautiful seed pods. That's a blessing of Mother Nature there. Life will renew. As the seeds fall, they'll travel and new trees will come. What a blessing to see these pods today. nice just to walk along and quiet contemplation you know yesterday for New Year's I had a really nice and quiet day I didn't really go anywhere I did do readings yesterday I had a lot of you call for private readings I did do readings I kind of feel like to start the new year doing what I love to do and uh, it's like encouraging the universe to know that I'm serious about what I'm seeking so I did readings because that's what I do. Thank you to all of you who called yesterday. A lot of you were surprised that you could reach Psychic Bob, but yep, I was available. And I thank you guys for, for your support. Well, here we are up at Fox Chase. And you know, the world of commerce is beginning again. You know, it's been so quiet here the last week. And now it's starting to come to life. People are in the shops and uh, things are starting to resume. Business is coming back and resuming. And so life is going on. I think Psycho Bob needs a little lunch. Come on along. There is our Sun Lord shining down on the shopping center. And look where I am. I'm outside of Pier 1. Oh my God. Look at these signs. Everything on sale. Entire store. 20 to 40% off original price. Storewide sale. Oh. Second about it's got to be good. I'm going to go eat lunch and hopefully calm down. Because if I shop on an empty stomach with low sugar, I just go crazy and I'll buy up everything. And that's not a good thing. Especially when I'm trying to be minimalist. So we're going to go eat and settle down, try to not focus on those sale signs. <laughs> uh, here I am safely ensconced in my booth at La Casa. I got my good sweet southern tea here, sweet iced tea. And I brought a good book to curl up with. This is Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. I love this. This is a classic. I've probably read it 50 times, but there's always information I keep rediscovering in it. Every one of those books is like you open it and you're like, I never read that before. <laughs> this is one of those books. I recommend it. And I got food coming. And I'll share that with you when it gets here. I thought I'd read to you a little bit from this book. From Wicca, a Guide for the Solitary. This is chapter 8 called Days of Power. And it says, in the past, when people lived with nature, the turning of the seasons and the monthly cycle of the moon had a profound impact on religious ceremonies. Because the moon was seen as a symbol of the goddess, ceremonies of adoration and magic took place in its light. The coming of winter, the first stirrings of spring, the warm summer and the advent of fall were also marked with rituals. The Wiccans, heirs of power, excuse me, heirs of the pre-Christian folk traditions of Europe still celebrate the full moon and observe the changing of the seasons. The Wiccan religious calendar contains 13 full moon celebrations and eight Sabbaths or days of power. Isn't that beautiful? Now we just had Yule. But coming next month is another Sabbath called Imbolc. And we'll do videos on that when we get there. But, you know, last night I was out walking and I was watching as the sun was setting. The moon was up in the sky and it was a beautiful crescent. Did any of you see the crescent moon yesterday? Really something. But I was thinking how fortunate we are, at least those of us who follow this path, because 
we get to connect with that energy, that sacred power, it's still available to us today. If you're trying to get on this spiritual path, you might want to really check out this book. I'm not being endorsed by Llewellyn or Scott Cunningham, um, but it's, it's a wonderful book. It's got my vote. Oh my gosh, my lunch arrived. Look what I got. I got the La Casa Reuben on rye. I got shoestring french fries and they cooked them just right a perfect golden brown i'll make put a little ketchup over here you say about puts ketchup on everything so a little ketchup's good and we are set mm -mm. let's try this french fry <laughs> just working for me Hi, Tubies. That was a great lunch. I just want to curl up in my booth here, take a little nap, curl up in my book. Say like Bob's having such a good time. <sighs> I'm putting on my big purple scarf and heading back into the world. Come on along. Oh, now that was a great meal. I'm feeling so good. Oh, I'm going to see what's going on with the Sun Lord. Let's see what's going on. It's still nice out, pretty mild. All oh, our Sun Lord's hidden behind the clouds. You can see just a little hint of him right there. Ah, oh, it's clouding over. Maybe a storm's coming in. Well, I think we'll walk on along. Okay, I'm outside Pier 1, but I'm being good. I'm not going in. Second Bob's going to be disciplined today, even though I do want to go shopping. I'm trying to be a minimalist, so we got to honor that. So, we're going to keep on walking. We're walking right by. And, oh, temptation's pulling Second Bob, but he's not going to go. <laughs> well, come on along, guys. Oh, I'm outside Dunkin Donuts. Oh, I'm getting tempted. I'm getting tempted. Oh, look at that pretty lights up there. Oh, they got a big line. Thank God. See, the big line spared me because in that store, I, I hate to say it, but the service is terrible. And if I got in that line, I'd be there literally like at least 30 minutes. So it's just as well because think about it, I don't need to be eating any donuts. Laura, between all your chalk gifts of chocolate I've received, I probably put on 20 pounds. But I'm having a great time, nonetheless. So, anyways, I think it's time we head on home. Well, guys, I'm so glad that you decided to come along with us on this adventure today. I hope wherever you are, you're having a wonderful and a blessed new year. You know, tell me in the box below, the comment section, what did you do for New Year's? Did you have a big party? Did you chillax? Did you make any New Year's wishes or resolutions? I'd sure love to hear about your experiences. Anyways, thanks for being here. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. We'll be back here tomorrow uh, for Free For All Friday. We'll have something fun. I'm not sure what we're doing. So I was chilling a little bit, so we'll have something for you. But you guys are the best. Listen, if you want to get on my schedule for a New Year's reading, give me a call. Call my office number 703-825-3929. We'll get you on the schedule for your private reading. If you've been wanting to say, I want to sit down and say goodbye for an hour and pick his mind and learn about my soul and my journey, why don't you get a private reading? Give me a call. 703 825 3929. You guys rock. Listen, thanks for being here. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may all of you always blessed be. I told you Psycho Bob has the biggest scrying mirror on YouTube. Here's one of my scrying mirrors. <laughs> Let's look to the future. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun 
just thinking about tomorrow wipes away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none the sun will come out tomorrow so you gotta hang on till tomorrow come what may tomorrow tomorrow I love you tomorrow you're always a day away